everyone okay so this is my very first favorites video <sighs> well I was hesitant to start doing favorite videos because I don't want to like commit to doing it every month so no promises on doing it every month because I don't know I'm a commitment phobe I'm sorry let's get started because I started to compile it all together and I was like oh there's a lot of stuff so Oh, 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 and I actually am also including regrets at the end. I think that's important. I like hearing other people's regrets. <laughs> so I thought I'd include a few, but I'm gonna leave that for the end because it's best for last. I don't really get that, so here we go. First, we have a liquid liner. I use liquid liner every single day, and so it is important to me. And I found this one. It is the Maybelline Line Stiletto. Looks like this, like you probably heard of the mascara, stiletto, whatever. I haven't tried that, but this I love. It is a felt tip. Looks like this. And it just works great. And I use it every day now. And I wing out my liner every single day and so I don't know. I've grown to really, really, really love this. So this is definitely a favorite. Like if it starts to get dry, shake it up. Okay, just a little tip. I just realized like almost all my stuff is drugstore. Yay, I love drugstore. Next is a recent crazy collecting thing that I've done. I started seeing a lot of videos about Wet n Wild and I'd always dismissed them before and then I started buying them. And then I kept buying them, and kept buying them, and kept buying them. And I'm talking about the eyeshadows. Okay, I don't even know if this is all of the eyeshadow palettes that I have, but let me show them to you really quickly. <laughs> and two little baby. Okay, so I think that's all the ones that I have, but so far, my two favorites are Sweetest Candy, I apologize if it's like kind of dirty okay they come with like a little sponge applicator as well as a little brush which is interesting and it looks like this it's like a pinky tone a medium brown and then a light light whitish shimmery color which is kind of a lot to handle sometimes loving this I found that pink looks really good on my eyes I didn't completely know that before now I do it's awesome and my other absolute favorite although I love a lot of them this is my other favorite it's one of the eight pan palettes and it is comfort zone number seven three eight and it's the neutral eight pan which is probably a lot of people's favorites because the other two are like wild blue and wild purple and honestly I can't vouch for every single color okay maybe you just have to work with them more but the two definer colors at the bottom the last row not my favorite, but the top six, love. Great for every day. Okay, moving on. The Physician's Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls in Beige Pearl. Very cute packaging, and I just use this for a highlighter. I did make a whole review video about this, so I'm not going to go on and on, but it's a great little... Oh, it's still like... <laughs> the cute little thing is still like in the package. But I love this right now. Next is the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lipstick, or CoverGirl Perfection Lipstick. I can never get that right because I've mentioned it in other videos because I'm wearing it so much. And I love this color. I got two colors, and this is Heavenly. Number 206. Oops, I'm so dyslexic. So awesome for every day. Colors like this. I swatched it in another video. I think it was my Valentine's haul. I'm not sure but looks like that. And I just love this lipstick so much because it like stains your lips. Like you put it on in the morning and it just like, even if you wipe it off or eat something or drink coffee, whatever, it will leave color on your lips. And it's not advertised as a lip stain at all, but it almost reminds me of one, I don't know. I did have to work with this a little bit, but I ended up absolutely loving it. This is something I've been using like almost every day. Next is the Hard Candy Glimouflage, and it's a concealer I saw a lot of videos about, and I never got anything else by Hard Candy, and I kind of dismissed it, 
I the only place I could find it was at Walmart and this is only six dollars it came with this concealer and this little concealer pencil apparently you're supposed to use this to like line your tattoo and then cover it up with this I don't have any tattoos so I can't really cover up any tattoos but apparently that actually works so these both came together in this box and I got it in light as you can see, it says heavy duty concealer and that is exactly what it is. It's super, super heavy duty. And right when I got this, I was kind of having like a little breakout moment on my chin. And so this came just in time, very full cover. You only need a tiny smidgen, just a little, little, little bit because a little bit goes a long way. I also want to make the comparison really reminds me of the packaging of the Makeup Forever full cover which I was using before that for everything. Um, now I'm just using this for under my eyes. Some people might say oh it's too heavy to use under your eye. I think this one's too heavy for under my eyes but this one works great for under my eyes. I have serious circles. This one's more expensive so I'm being a little bit more conservative with this one. Oh another thing about this I have used this little concealer pencil which I can't find anywhere else, like a concealer type pencil like or a concealer color pencil on my waterline and then setting it with powder to do that whole like open your eye, brighten it up thing. I just extend it out like this. I think you can probably see where it's like a lighter color right there, but it goes just under my winged out eyeliner up there and I'm liking it. And next, I've been using the Garnier Nutri Nutritionist. I've never said that out loud. Okay, Garnier Nutritionist. I'm never going to say that again, actually. Okay, so the Skin Renew Anti-Puff Eye Roller, and it's just like the regular green one. It's not the one that has like pigment in it, because I know they just came out with, actually, I don't know how new it is, but they came out with one that has like a concealer pigment that you can use, and I was kind of scared of that. I don't know. I just heard a really good review on it, so maybe I'm missing out. It is a rollerball applicator, and it's just like a clear, sort of like a gel. I came back to this because lately I've been having really puffy eyes every single morning. Like, no matter what I do, no matter how much sleep I get, but I can't avoid the puffiness. I have used this in the past, and then I quit, and I really actually don't know why, because it works. It has caffeine in it. And I'm pretty sure that is the active ingredient that really, really helps decongest and depuff and all that miracle stuff. Definitely worth a try. I mean, like, if you are battling the puffiness and it really bums you out, just give it a try. It's a drugstore product. I don't remember how much it costs, but I bought mine at Walmart. One favorite that is actually not beauty related is my brand new, sorry, I'm looking at it, my brand new computer speaker. I hated my old speakers. They were like broken. They took up so much room on my desk. Like this is my desk that I'm like filming on. And it's like a desk slash vanity, which is way too many uses for this small of a desk. And they took up too much room. They're totally broken and I hated them. How many cords do speakers need? I don't even understand. And they like go on forever. I don't, what? I don't get it. So now I can like go out and like smash these with a sledgehammer or something. I'm just gonna throw them away in a civil way. My new speaker, it's by Insignia. I got this from Best Buy and I think it was under $20, which is awesome for me. And it's called a USB soundbar for most netbooks and laptops. And here's a picture of like where it goes on your laptop. You just kind of like clamp it on the top. I'm not one that's like crazy picky about, oh my gosh, my music has sound. Amazing. I don't have like a super critical ear, but this sounds better than the speakers that came on my laptop. Looks like this and it's still actually hooked to my laptop. Has like a little lever foot thing right here. And you just hook it on the top. Which I thought might be annoying but so far it isn't. And it's just a USB and it plugs right into the computer. Really liking this or at least I'm really 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 appreciating this because I can get rid of my old one. Okay finally the last one. Lately I have been obsessed with audiobooks. <laughs> I know this is a really weird favorite to include, and yes, again, it's not beauty related, but I have been listening to audiobooks like a mad woman. And actually, it's been for more than February. It's been since like January. Actually, it's been since I was like a kid. I used to go to the church library when I was little and check out like Hank the Hound Dog, or I don't even know what it was called. Like I used to check out audiobooks and listen to them and 
whatever. So this is a lifelong obsession, but lately it's been a little out of hand. And this is one that I just ordered. I think I got it from Amazon. I'm not really sure. Obviously haven't opened it. This is not a particular favorite. I was mainly just talking about audiobooks, but this one is The Secret Life of Marilyn Monroe. Looking forward to this one. Currently I'm listening to Role Models by John Waters. Very funny, very interesting. But my favorite one that I listened to this month was A Man Called Cash. And at the moment, unfortunately, I can't remember who wrote it, but I really, really, really enjoyed that. It was super long. I think it took me like five days to listen to. And it was really, really interesting. And I like Johnny Cash, but it was like such an in-depth look at his life. And I really, really enjoyed it. So the reason why audiobooks are so good for me is like I'm in the car all the time. My commute to school is like 30 minutes to an hour and my drive to work is at least 30 minutes. So I'm in the car all the time. Sometimes I feel bad that I can't like sit down and read as much as I would like to. So obviously I'm on some kind of like biography kick, but I like fiction too. If you have any recommendations for an audiobook that I should listen to next, let me know comment, message, whatever you feel like doing. Okay, so that's the end of my favorites and let's look at a couple of regrets. First, I bought some stuff from e.l.f. I have liked their single eyeshadows before and honestly this was just a mistake on my part. It's not like I hate the formula or anything like that, I just picked the wrong color. And so it's an e.l.f. eyeshadow and it's in Wild Wheat. Color looks like this. And swatch looks like this. I'm not sure if you can see that because it's nearly invisible. So if you're looking for some invisible eyeshadow, check out Wild Wheat by e.l.f. Okay, totally not hating on e.l.f. because I like e.l.f. or it's like hit and miss with e.l.f. honestly. So it's great that it's such a low cost, but sometimes you end up with a Wild Wheat situation. So I definitely don't like this. Okay, and the last regret, because it's always better to have more good than bad, is the Physician's Formula Happy Booster. It is a blush. It's incredibly cute packaging. However, it is overpriced in my opinion. It's just not the right color for me. You might like it, I don't like it. Looks like this, really cute hearts. And this is in the color Rose. I don't like it, it's just too pink for me. So I just don't like it. I like how it smells, but I don't use this. It's just like super, super pinky pink and it is like adorable. So I almost can't bear to throw it away, but at the same time, I don't really like it. All right, so that's it for me. And I don't know, tell me if you want me to keep doing favorites video. This was actually really, really easy. I thought it would be kind of hard, but I shop a lot. So there's always like new things coming in that I love. So you can always comment or message anytime if you have any questions or you just want to say hey whatever um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can but yeah so I gotta run and thank you so much for watching bye everyone it's February and I have a little bit uh, is an incredibly cute package pack and also underneath here like to wake it up do you know what I'm talking about I don't know if I explained that well is by ex is in it's by and past my little eye like underneath my waterline i would have to show you i'm not one that's like super 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 picky <laughs>